family, we we uh, just uh, are happy to that you joined us today for to participate in the thirty days of prayer and fasting. Yep, uh, this is a family community church. We are participating in the prayer and fasting, Dorothy and I, and so we just uh, pray that you will be encouraged. Uh, for your media home as well as the community right here in Fresno. And so, you know, I think about uh, 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 leadership. I think about coming up on the farm as well as I think about the word of God in the sense on how we as people, as human beings, are to submit to one another. Let me just read uh, one scripture uh, out of Ephesians 5, starting in verse 20. Giving thanks always for all things to God, uh, the Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, submitting to one another in the fear of the Lord. Right there, you see the word submitting. And so I think when I think about uh, leadership, we first have to have a, have a, a platform, right? a foundation. That platform to me is submitting. And so let's bow our heads together, if you will, and pray on uh, leadership. Sovereign Father, we come before you, Dorothy and I, as well as community and especially family community church, submitting first, as your word said, and then growing from there in that process of leadership. And we just thank you uh, for this uh, fasting and praying that the pastor is putting together for the a community and church uh, uh, all included. And so we pray as we grow together in this pandemic season that you will give us a heart uh, to submit as well as leadership as we continue to try to encourage each other. Maybe something we do or something we say uh, will give someone that spark to, uh, to snap out of the, the woe is me or whatever the case may be. And so we pray uh, for the leaders of our communities. We pray for the leaders of our state, as well as on a national level, our president and all the lawmakers. And we pray, Father, that you would just guide us and direct us during this time and give us that strength to be great leaders. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray together and we all say together, amen. Amen. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye. I am Deacon Waverton Terrell, and I will be uh, praying on leadership. And I want to read a scripture first from, uh, I'm going to be reading from James, the fourth chapter in the 10th verse. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. Heavenly Father, I come right now just praying and thanking you Heavenly Father Heavenly Father we just come thanking you for all leaders in their homes in their church Heavenly Father as we come we come lifting up all the deacons in every church we lift up Heavenly Father the trustees in every church that is making decisions Heavenly Father we lift up the pastors of each church Heavenly Father as we follow behind, Heavenly Father, as we come, just thanking and trusting you, Heavenly Father, for all of our community leaders, and just ask you let them see you first, Heavenly Father, on every decision they make. We lift up the governor of each state to you, Heavenly Father, and then during these trying times, Heavenly Father, we just ask you that your blessing, your guidance be in their sight so they can follow you, and not the world. Heavenly Father, as we come, we come lifting up the, the United States of America. Heavenly Father, we ask you for the leadership to guide them, all the councilmen, the senators, the president, everyone that is in leadership in any position of corporations. We just ask them just to lean and uh, not on their own understanding, but in you, Heavenly Father, and let you guide them and make every decision they make be in your name. Heavenly Father, we just... Thank you, Heavenly Father. We just ask you to continue to grow up leaders in the church that will be able to carry out your word and be a follower of Christ at all times. So we just want to say thank you. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. 
Join me as we pray and fast for leadership today. Father, I thank you for your covenant. Lord, I know that all leaders may not have covenant with you, but for those who do, we thank you for those who are keeping covenant with you, Lord, who will lead despite outside influences, who will lead despite distractions, who will lead despite who may be for them or who they think may be against them. We thank you for those leaders, God. Lord, according to Titus chapter 1, verse 7 and 14, you told us that a leader should not be arrogant or prideful or quick-tempered or violent or greedy. So we pray for those leaders who are practicing these things right before our very eyes. We ask that you touch them in their spirit, touch them in their mind, touch them in their body, God, and have them to turn towards you. Repent and turn towards you. And Father, we thank you for those leaders that are in leadership in all different industries, God, whether it be teaching, whether it be being a principal, whether it be, um, whether it be in the financial, whether it be in movies, whether it be in our own church body, God. We pray for leadership all around the world. God, we thank you that our own leaders, our pastors, uh, those who are deacons and elders and those who are in leadership positions, we pray and thank you that they'll continue to be hospitable. They'll continue to be lovers of good and have self-control and be upright and holy and be disciplined before a holy and righteous God. So God, as we plead the blood of Jesus over our leaders in all segments, we give you the glory. We know that you have already made a way out of no way. And we give you the glory for that right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our savior, our Lord and savior who hung, bled and died and rose again. We thank you for our risen savior in Jesus Christ's name. Let it be so. Amen. Amen.